Hello everyone, I'm your host Sakuma, welcome back to Turok Dinosaur Hunter. In our previous episode, we got to level 8, the Campaigner's Fortress. At least I think that's what it's called, I don't really care what it's called. And it's really dark in here. Almost as bad as level 5, but not quite. Not quite. At least I can see the walls. <laughs> but still, I tried to fix my uh, cable so I could see a little bit better, and maybe I did something, but I don't think so. Pretty sure this is the brightest it's going to get. So I'm going to be fighting the dark a little bit here. I wish there was... Hi, aliens! I wish there was a way to see more of what I was doing in here, but... Give me... One of these. Come on, come on. There we go. It'd be real nice if they gave you an option to adjust the brightness of the game in this one, but they don't do that until the second game. I guess with that thing there, I could use these to take out any potential threats around the corner. Which there are currently none of. Uh, no more secret walls? Oh, there's one guy over there. Here you go, boom. Now, I could pick that thing up right away, since I just used it, and I'm, I'm sure I'm not going to come back here. But, if it turns out that I go through the next few do uh, not doors, the next few rooms, and I use up, yeah, I can pick these up. And I use up too much ammo. I can come back in here and grab that box. Guilt free. And I'll be good on ammo for a little bit longer. Ammo has been a scarce commodity lately. And now that we're in this room, uh, what do I want? Do we have. I've got a few rockets. I think I'm going to keep using this though. There's going to be a lot of robots in this area. And I'm not sure how to get up to all of these things. Looks like two or three shots will take care of the red ones. I think that's the yellow one. That's two. Four. Six to get rid of the yellow. And I feel like one of these will be a fake room as well. So that's one, two, three, four. Nope. Five, six. Nope, just five. Five on that guy and six on his brother. Maybe they are poker buddies too, I don't know. Uh, this guy takes two or three, right? One, two, and a flurry of regular stuff. Come on, die! Why aren't you dead? What? Like, seriously, why aren't you dead? Low armor. Ooh. Come on! Jeez. He was a pain. I think that's all the robots. Maybe. Oh, there's a checkpoint. Move for that. Based on that sound, I'm guessing I can come over here and yeah! Nothing else on top. Oh, hi there! I will gladly jump in here. What have we got this time? Not sure, but this might be the weapon I should use. Against these new cyborgs and the enemies of last episode. Well, the fodder enemies of last episode, I should specify. Seems like it'd be a good choice. As long as this thing ain't sinking, I'll be happy. And aren't you happy I'm not using the map? <laughs> Are there any enemies in here, or is it just, like, a pity spot? You know, we're sorry that we put you through all that junk in the previous episode, or the previous level. They don't know I'm doing episodes. How about we just give you a whole bunch of stuff here, and you forgive us for it. How does that sound? Well, I would forgive you if I had better cables. <laughs> Which I know is not your guys' fault, but the draw distance could probably have been done better. Then again, it was the early, early N64 days, so they probably didn't know how to compact everything well enough to give you the best visual experience, either graphically or draw distance-wise. So I probably shouldn't hold it against them. 
I don't know if these lead me to anything. Probably that jump across the normal way was too much for me to be able to make. Or maybe it wasn't. So those things are probably completely pointless if that's the case. These ones, though, not so much. Really? No enemies in here. I am very surprised. They even give me an ultra health. Which I don't think I need. Wow, okay, so this is going to be a reusable spot in the future. That's uh, quite lucky. So, going to check for secret walls. And because of... Whoops! What, does this thing loop around? Yeah, it does. Huh, okay. Well, um... Because everybody in here is dead now, and I said that I was going to do it, I'm going to head back to the previous... New camo! I knew there had to be some. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah. I hear things moving and it's making me nervous. I'm gonna head back to the previous area, to <laughs> sector one, and I'm going to grab the explosive shotgun ammo. So give me just a second and I'll be right back in there. Oh, hey, and I found a another secret spot with a backpack. Great, so they really want me to die in this level. Plenty of ammunition back here too. This makes me very happy. Another ultra health. Whoa! <laughs> Nine lives and 99 life force. You get the cheat coat for infinite lives. I'm sure I knew about this before, but I had forgotten this was a thing. That's special. That is special, game. Wow. Respect for your respect. That is so cool. I love it. All right, back to the other room. Let's go on to Sector 2 now. I didn't even notice we were back in the room, and suddenly I'm turning down the other corner. Oh, it doesn't take care of him right away. Two shots will, though. So a brief charge to kill them. Uh, No secret walls. Or maybe they are. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! He was a lot more resilient than his brother. Come on! Hmm... Another fusion cannon. I don't know how to get up there. Like I said recently, I don't remember this level as well as the others. I know the end of it, but that's about it. And is this really? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. Bam, you're dead. Flashy! Hope that doesn't give any of you any seizures. Then again, just firing this thing would probably give oh, mo most people a seizure. If it could, or if they were susceptible, susceptible to it. Absolutely. I want that, thank you. Now we'll run back in here. Not sure what that beeping sound was all about, but we've got rockets, so... Free use of rockets. Rocket fight! Come on now. I want to say that his shield will give him defense against whatever I'm firing at him, but I don't remember that being the case. Morg. Eh, maybe I should use some other kind of ammunition. Hi there! No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, we'll use grenades. I do have a strange excess of them. Alright, now where are them rockets at? Thank you, sir! Whoever it sir is. Any secret areas back here? Oh, there's aliens shooting at me. Okay. I probably should have looked for them first. One. Two. Fake wall count is zero. All right. Another quad rocket launcher, thank you for that. I can't pick these things up because I'm full. And that's the only way to go. 
Yeah, it is, and we're about to find some new enemies. Oh, great. Um, hmm. As far as I can remember, this might be the weapon of choice for... Well, are they in this area? Maybe not. Oh, wait, wait. I'm not sure. Yay. Uh, it's like I'm being led on. This is kind of fun. It could almost be tedious, but it's fun. Oh, rent the runway. And another one. This guy is a what? A nothing. <sighs> Leapers? Really? I've come this far in. Ah, and a save point. What am I shooting at? I think it's an alien. It was an alien. Emphasis on the word was. I'd really like to stop playing now, but the episode's not over yet. Oh, well. What's next? No, I can't see down that far. Draw distance. Come on now, what's next? Am I looking the right way? Uh, yes I am, actually. I can't even see the walls from here. Okay. Oh, goodness, now I can see the walls. Okay, okay. So many okays from me. Even though none of this is really okay. Okay, I really hope that the, they keep the red glow for this part of the cave, because that means I will finally be on equal playing fields with leapers. I think not, sir! Oh, wait a second. There we go. The leaper killing weapon. <gasps> Hi, boys! Um, let's see now. Oops, I wasn't expecting to jump that far. Okay. Is there anybody back here? There's a something. What is this? It's a blue health. Okay, and then I run back over this direction because I don't know what I left behind. Okay. <laughs> Did something happen? I heard something move. Oh, I bet that's going to, to activate something that's going to let me go forward. And yeah, you know what? I'm not killing the pearl then because I don't want to waste my ammo on them. Well then. Alrighty. <laughs> Take two. For some reason, I jumped twice. The first time, I didn't even see the top. Nope. You guys can stay in here for all I care. And that is a trap. That is a very trap. But it looks like you kind of expect me to fall into it. Okay. Well, I skipped something. Aha. And now I have more ammo for the fusion cannon. Among other things. Any fake walls? That's a nope. So down tube number one is... Yeah, that's cool. I think that was a grenade launcher. I don't know. I was thinking it was a plasma rifle, but... Yeah... Uh, that might have been a quad rocket launcher. If not, it was a grenade launcher. And there's the beauty. Which it let me pick up. But yeah, we don't have any more. We do because I have a backpack. That's right. That is sweet. Okay, I think now we are very well equipped to take on whatever's next. Who's down here? Is it something not I'm not well equipped for? Or just a Perlin? Well, stop that. What have we got to fight this guy? Not the fusion cannon. <laughs> yeah, we'll just... Simple. Oh, and I got a grenade. Yay. Yeah. What's next? Uh, I saw something. Another alien. Well, screw you. 
Any side passages? There's an underpassage that leads to nothing, but... I think those might be explosive shells, so I'll hold off to pick them up. Yep, just get rid of a few more guys in here. I'm sure they will respawn in a minute. I'm Jackal Boy. Oh, what the heck? No, 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 no. There we go. Now then, about those shells. Jeez, this game has gotten really intense. I'm surprised that I'm actually above 100 health right now. Or, specifically, above full health, even. Do do do. Bump bump. Yay! Uh, nothing? At all? Anywhere? Do you even have any secret rooms? No? Oh, I guess those weren't explosive shells that I picked up earlier. Okay. Maybe I should have the map on for this, but whatever. Darn it. Got me. Oh! Lovely. What's around the outside edge here? I don't want to do... I will if I have to. <laughs> or specifically, I will if I die multiple times. I'm sure I'm going to die here. Look at me. I've got all this ammo, plus one for the fusion cannon, and armor, and very high health. I'm dead. I am going to be dead. I thought I heard somebody shooting at me, but I don't see or hear them now. Alright, well, this is going to be an outright nightmare, but at least they give me something to jump to this time. Thank goodness. It's a shame that I can't use any of these. Oh man, I'm really close to the edge. Yes. I'm barely using the map. Whew. It's okay, I'm doing alright. So far. I guess that is lava down there, so I won't die instantly if I don't make these jumps, but... Even so... Better to make the jumps than not. And now I have even more health. Man, I am very overdue for a death. I'm glad that I'm not having any, but I'm very overdue for them. Got all this stuff down there too, and they don't seem to lead anywhere. And there's an elevator, alright. Well, anything on the edges? Ammo is good. Any ammo is good. I'm going to need as much ammo as possible when I get to the end of this level. <laughs> and even then, it won't be enough. my goodness. Well, what's around the corner? Another trap. Mm, and a leaper cave. Alright, well, we're going to go this way next episode. Oh my word, it's quite a ride in here. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish up recording the game today because I don't see a save point anywhere in my near future. Thank you everybody for joining me for this episode of Turok Dinosaur Hunter. I hope you're still enjoying it. If you are, come back next time and... I'd say we're about two or three episodes out from the end at this point. Oh boy, there goes my bedtime. See you next time, everyone. Take care. And there's the last enemy of the game that we haven't seen yet. I think it's called like a sludge beast or something like that. I call it a mutant crab. <laughs>